It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on time. Ready to get us started, it's Cade York, and off we go on EA Sports. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads him out. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. First carry for James Conner. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Murray now. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Nice grab by McBride, and he's someone who took a massive leap a season ago. Not only did he lead the Cardinals in receiving, but he did so by more than 250 yards, and he expects to even have better output this season. On first and 10 is counter. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Connor going to get it again on second down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he is caught. And they will eventually get him down but he's inside the five all the way to the three 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Connor will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So that one, an eight play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position. Beats you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And shoving his way inside the 35. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made here at the 36. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he's going to get this deep on Arizona's side of the field. Big yardage that time for Washington. 59 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Play action, now it's Daniels. That's to the pylon and incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. 
The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They start with a give to Connor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. Right back to Connor here on first. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Murray going to throw. Over the middle, he'll get it to Harrison. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Here's Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third down and one. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Murray now to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. To throw is Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trey McBride, the target on that throw, but it'll be second and goal.
play action. Now it's Murray. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jeremy Chin, so dangerous wherever he's at on the field, and that time he gets in there for the sack. And on second and goal, they decide to throw it again, and this result is even worse. They take a sack. On first down, it was simply an incomplete pass. Not a good first two plays, beginning with first and goal. Way back at the 19 now. What do they have here on third and goal? To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Now Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. the play fake Daniels middle of the field it's Robinson it'll be a gain of five and that'll make it second down now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down whatever you want to call it gain of five you're just trying to get four on first down they're ahead of the chains now throwing now is Daniels and complete to Zach Ertz. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. From the 34-yard line here, second and three. To throw is Daniels. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. First target, first catch, and a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An outcut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Oh, 
caught. First and 10, it's Robinson. To about the 26 here. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Now Daniels. Completes to Zacchaeus. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Here's Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. Daniels looking to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A couple of anxious seconds there. Probably felt like an eternity to him. That ball's tipped up into the end zone. And once it goes up there, you know it could be anybody's football at that point. Pretty lucky that one fell to the ground harmlessly. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air goes Daniels. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. They go play action. Daniels. That's complete right around the eight. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays. But they did in a big way there. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And Washington has taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point try now for Patterson. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it was all capped off on the touchdown reception by Jamison Crowder. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. 
But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Murray. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. And the Washington offense going back to work. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll look to throw here on first down. This is Ertz on a pitch and catch. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Robinson up the middle. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. James Conner in the Cardinal offense ready to get back to work. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Murray now. Over the middle complete. That's Harrison. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 14 yards that time for number 14.
from the gun again to Connor. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the 23, here's second and five. Again, it's Connor. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Oh, nice job there, putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll run here with Connor. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals are once again back in front. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now 17-14. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And you figure, Charles, they have enough time here in the first half, more than a minute, to put a drive together, at least get them in position to try a field goal. Yeah, they've got all three timeouts at their disposal, so I'm actually thinking bigger. With those three timeouts, that amount of time on the clock, I'm thinking about trying to get a touchdown and settle for a field goal. Throwing to start the drive, Daniels. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Trying for the tight end, Ertz, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. What did you see on that one? Rookie mistake or just good defense? It was a combo plate, but the rookie quarterback, he'll take it all on his shoulders, and the frustration level is evident. You can see it with him. You know, if that's a veteran quarterback, he walks off like he just threw a touchdown pass because he doesn't want to show that to the defense. The young guys, they take it more to heart. It's on their sleeve a little bit. He'll learn as he goes along how to hide his emotions. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. 
And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Here's Murray. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Prater on to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The commander's back out late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw. Daniels. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Man, open left side. It's his running back with it. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. 
The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. Patterson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. We watched the veteran James Conner put together a very solid first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Play action, now it's Daniels. That quick throw there is incomplete. Had an open man that time, they ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and eight. Back to throw. Daniels. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Running on first down, Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. 
Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. From the gun on third down, Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Patterson now for the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. square here in this third quarter as the kicks away and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half after that last touchdown we just saw Charles we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half and Brandon this drive is all about one word to me and that's the word answer because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half keeping them in the driver's seat Murray now to throw and to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Here's Murray from midfield going right back to Wilson. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. To throw, it's Murray. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. 
Out of the gun, here's Murray. His throw incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Connor up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. To throw is Murray. Got his man, it's Dorch. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The commander's offense and running back Brian Robinson getting set for this next drive. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. To throw is Daniels. Finding Ertz here on the out route. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. quickly I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one I think if he had it to do over again he would have found a different target downfield but he made his decision and that one's incomplete so the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three off the play fake Daniels a rifles one and that's going to be intercepted and the Cards are going to get it back here just past the 35. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. 
And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. After the turnover, here's Murray. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run behind center with Connor. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. 38-yard line, second and nine. Now Murray. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 23. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Murray going to throw. This is taken in by McBride. Touchdown, Cardinals. Trey McBride with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Prater for the extra point. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. midfield and a good kick pays off as he's only able to get this out past the 10 yard line there's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession and to get a return like that to start things off that's the spark that they needed that's the spark they were looking for and the Washington offense heading out well that last touchdown we just saw what an important one now it's back to a two score deficit for this crew as they take the field here and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. 
So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Daniels looking to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Robinson will try to pick it up. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. 87 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Cardinals will take over here just shy of the 30. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. The Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray headed back out onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Murray again. This is Connor. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up, and you're staring at an important third down. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Here's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And that pickup of a first down... That's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A decent run there following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive? take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They're going for it. Hits Murray. 
And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Here's a second and eight. Here's Daniels. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Hand off now to Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. They'll run again here with Robinson. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Well, as far as plays go, there's nothing to write home about on that one because that one gets some negative yardage. But if you do want to find a positive, he found a way to get out of bounds and stop the clock. They'll come up facing third and five. Throwing now is Daniels. And this is caught. Touchdown! A great play there. 36 yards. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big time moments happen for this team extra point by Patterson up and good and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. 
90 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Here's Murray. And Wilson with it complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On the handoff, Connor. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. That pass completed to Deutsch, and the Cardinals are going to have a first down. And that's a big one, as they should be able to run it out from here. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it'll be Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor, a nine yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals will add to their fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive, all told. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Now 
After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now Washington down by 10, a minute 40 remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first, first and 10. Now Daniels. Pass caught by Crowder. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Here comes second down at five. To the air goes Daniels. Able to find Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Here's second down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This is first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles' defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.